Hi everyone, welcome back. Thanks for joining me today. I'm excited. I am participating in a Hocus Pocus open collaboration with Indie Annie Jones. Annie is so funny. You guys got to take a look at her channel. She's hysterical. The playlist will be linked in my description box below. So I hope you guys enjoy the Hocus Pocus DIYs I came up with. So starting off with DIY number one. To make this project, this is what you will need. The toy tracks from Dollar Tree. Something for the base. I use this apple pie from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to use it. I'm going to paint it with the black chalkboard paint. Also, I'm going to use this witch hat from Dollar Tree and some roses and some stems from Dollar Tree and some moss. This poo noodle, um, definitely you would need the purple one. To paint the tracks, I'm going to take it outside and use this flat black Rust-Oleum paint that I got from Walmart. Now I painted the base black and the tracks are all painted. Everything's dry. Now I'm going to put everything together. I'm just going to place it in the corners and I'm going to place it down with some hot glue. So it's going to look like a lantern, kind of like a dome lantern. I'm placing a lot of glue in the corner. To have a stronger hold, you might want to use some E6000 or super glue. Now I'm going to use the pool noodles to create some candles and I'm just going to measure, I think I kept them an inch or two apart. So I'm starting off, I think it was like a little over three inches. Then I go up to four or four and a half and just using um, a sharp knife so you get a nice clean cut. Now I want to create some fake wax. So I'm just going to take the hot glue and just go over the top. Let it kind of like drip down to make some drippings. So I'm going to be using um, Dollar Tree tea lights in order for them to fit inside. I'm going to have to make the hole a little larger. So I'm just going to use my knife. Just go around the inside until it's big enough for the little um, tea lights. Now the tea lights fit inside. Perfect. Now I want to place the candles inside the lantern. So I'm just going to place a little glue at the bottom so they don't move around. Now I'm going to take one of these Dollar Tree spiders and hot glue it to one of the candles. I'm going to be using Dollar Tree moss and I'll place some at the bottom. I'm not going to use any hot glue, I'm just going to position it all around the candles. So I'm going to throw some spiders at the bottom as well. A couple from Dollar Tree, just to make it a little spooky inside. I'm going to place down the roses from Dollar Tree on each corner on the outside of the lantern.
Now I'm going to add some of the glittery stems. I'm not sure what you call them, but I'm going to add a couple of those in the back as well. Now I'm going to add the witch's hat to the top. And that is it guys this came out so stinking cute I'll show you what it looks like with the lights on it's perfect for Halloween it's very easy to make Okay, a company reached out to me and they wanted me to do a review on their clothing. It's called Everlast. Here's a few of the items that they sent to me and I'm showing you what they look like on me. And I'll show you, um, the pants they sent me were a little too big so I couldn't uh, model them for you. So here I'm showing you the sneakers they sent me. It's the Halloween style, but they have other styles. They have, they have summer styles, spring, sunflowers. They also have dress shoes, boots. He also sent me this nice sweatshirt. It says October. In October, we wear pink. I got a few sweatshirts and I went with the Halloween style because it is Halloween time. And this one's really cute too. It's like a turtleneck type of sweatshirt. It's so soft. Very comfortable. And, and these are the pants they sent me. They're a little too big, but they're very cute. I have like the Halloween style patches. It's perfect for Halloween. I love the colors. Now this one is the orange one. It says Witches Brew Coffee Company. This is really comfortable. It's so cute for Halloween. Here's their site. It shows you everything they have. They have some really adorable jeans, sneakers, blouses, dress shoes, boots. I mean, you want to take a look at it. I'll leave the link in my description box below. For the most part, the clothing itself is very comfortable and they're very soft. I wasn't too crazy about the sneakers. They felt very plasticky, and I probably would never wear them. <laughs> but the clothes itself are very adorable, and if you want to take a look at their site, like I said, I'll leave their link in my description box below. Now let's go back to the DIYs. DIY number two will be a Hocus Pocus sign. I'm going to be using these wood words I got from Michael's. They were on sale. I believe I paid like a dollar fifty for them. And this Dollar Tree sign. To paint the Hocus Pocus words, I'm going to be using this purple paint. I believe it's called Tazanite. I'm going to take this Dollar Tree board, I'm going to use the black chalkboard paint, I'm going to paint the other side of it. So I used my Cricut and I created some stars on some yellow vinyl and I'm just going to place it on the board around the Hocus Pocus words. To place the words down on the side, I'm just going to use some hot glue. I'm going to be using this Dollar Tree Witch's Hat. I'm just going to paint it. I have some black lines in there, some orange, some green, and purple.
I'm going to use this ruler to create some black lines because I want to add some black lines on the hat and then the rest is going to be the colors. I'm going to start off by painting the middle part of the hat with the lime green color. The next color I'm going to be using is the jack-o'-lantern. Now I'm going to finish it off with the purple at the top and the bottom. I'm using my black marker and I'm going to make the black lines thicker in between the colors. I create a little witch's broom. So I'm going to take this Dollar Tree uh, witch's hat stick and I'm just going to place some raffia around the front piece of it and just wrap it with raffia. So these little brooms are really quite easy to make and I'm just placing the raffia around the front of it and then wrapping a little piece of raffia to tie it off. Now I'm just trimming the raffia piece at the end just to make it nice and straight and clean it up a little bit. So I wanted to add a little bow to the broom and I'm grabbing this pretty glittery Dollar Tree ribbon and I made a little tiny bow and I'm going to place it on the broom. However, at the end I change it up. I wrap the stem of the broom handle with the ribbon, a little tiny piece of ribbon because it's black on black and you can't see the handle, so I change it up a bit at the end. Now I'm just placing down the broom on the sign with just a little bit of the hot glue. I'm also hot gluing down the little bow. And now I'm going to grab the witch's hat and I'm going to place it at the top and just place it down with some glue. And this came out so adorable. I just love how this came out. I added two little yellow stars to the hat as well. So stinking cute. DIY number three is going to be a witch's cauldron and these are the supplies I use for this DIY. Dollar Tree Halloween bulbs, Dollar Tree witch's metal sign, Dollar Tree cauldron sign. So I'm going to paint the cauldron on the other side using the black chalkboard paint. Also going to paint the witch's hat the same color. Now everything's dry, I'm going to take the Halloween bulbs and I'm going to start hot gluing them to the corner of the cauldron. Just place it down with some hot glue. I'm only going to place it on the right hand side because the left hand side is where I'm going to place the witch's hat. And I'm down randomly. I don't have like a reason why I'm placing the way I'm placing them. I'm just placing them the way they look good to me. So I'm adding some small ones on top. So this way it looks sort of balanced. This 
mixing down some words and I used my Cricut and I created a vinyl wording that says Hocus Pocus. So I also placed some vinyl words down on the witch's hat that says, I smell children. I cut a piece of that Dollar Tree ribbon and made a tiny little bow and I'm going to place it at the top of the witch's hat. I'm going to use the ribbon again and place a little piece right between the witch's hat. This gives the witch's hat just a little bit of color. So I'm going to place the witch's hat right on the cauldron. This is so stinking cute. I love the way this came out, guys. So I wanted to add some additional touches to it. So I grabbed my white marker and I'm going to add some highlights to the sides. I added a jingle block in back so it could stand up and this is how it turned out. It's so stinking cute. Okay, DIY number four is going to be the black candle. What is Hocus Pocus without a black candle? So I grabbed this black candle from Dollar Tree. So I just typed in the search bar, Hocus Pocus, black candle, and it came up with a bunch of phrases. And I just printed this out. And I'm just going to take my glue stick and place it on the candle. I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. This is really a fun video and I'm having a blast making all these cool Hocus Pocus DIYs. You can make a couple of these and display them on your shelf and they look so cute. You could put different labels on them as well. This one's super easy and it really looks great. I like it. I think it's so cute. I like the color of the label. So now I'm going to grab the black chalkboard paint and I'm just going to paint the tip of the wick with black. So now I want to blend the label, so I'm going to grab some black paint and just go around the edges, kind of like blend it in. And that is it. Super easy. So cute for Hocus Pocus. Okay, DIY number five is a cauldron that says, I smell children. This round wood piece that I got from Dollar Tree, I painted it black. And then this cauldron I got from Walmart for 98 cents. And these really cute bracelets, they are like bright neon, they glow. Glow sticks, that's what they're called. Dollar Tree, the baby from Dollar Tree. So we're going to make a cute little cauldron for Hocus Pocus. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the tags off 
So the first thing I'm going to do is grab those glow stick bracelets and take two of the green ones, snap them, and place them inside the cauldron. I probably should have waited till after, but I was so excited. I like these things. They're so cute. To fill the inside of the cauldron, I'm just going to use some polyfill. So I'm just getting an idea of what it looks like because I'm going to take my glue gun and I'm going to place some drippings around the cauldron to make it look like, you know, it was bubbling over. Just going to paint the glue, the hot glue on the cauldron with the neon green. To glue the cauldron to the base using my hot glue. I'm going to take some polyfill and I'm going to place a little bit inside so it looks like they're fake bubbles. So I wanted to make the baby just a little bit dirty so I'm grabbing my ink pad and I'm just gonna stick my fingers in the ink pad and kind of like spread it around the baby to make it look like she's, you know, trying to get out of the <laughs> cauldron and she got a little bit dirty. Okay, so now I'm gonna place the baby in the cauldron. Now, you guys, if you don't have a baby or if you wanna recreate this, you can use witch's feet, witch's legs sticking out. I didn't have any, so the only thing I had was the little baby, so I'm like, I just put the baby in there. But you know, you can use anything. So I wanted to add a little sign. I took um, one of Dollar Tree's little wood domino pieces and painted it black, and I wrote on it, I smell children. I'm going to place it in front and this turned out really cute for Hocus Pocus. DIY number six, Mystical Cat. It's going to be the last DIY. So the supplies I'm going to be using is I used my Cricut and printed out a little black cat, Hobby Lobby craft paper, Dollar Tree uh, wood sign, and I'm going to paint that with the black chalkboard paint. I'm going to start off by placing the craft paper inside the wood sign. I'm just getting an idea where I need to cut it. Now because I want to place some lights behind the craft paper I'm going to add some jingle blocks uh, but right now I'm going to tape down the lights inside I was going to glue it but you can see these are old lights and I glued it to a previous DIY and you can never get the glue off and that's why I don't like gluing lights so because it's going to be hidden it didn't matter so I'm going to place them inside I'm just going to place them down with some tape So now I'm going to place down the jingle blocks and I'm just going to place them down with some hot glue. The lights were kind of in the way, I had to move them around a little bit. <laughs> now I'm going to place the cat on top of the craft paper. I'm going to remove them from the transfer tape because I believe the tape will rip the craft paper so I'm just gonna place them down without the transfer tape. I'm also gonna add one of these little cute little stickers. Um, I got this at Hobby Lobby half off. I don't know maybe $1.50 something like that I paid for it. So I'm gonna add one of those uh, behind the cat. I 
Now I'm going to place the craft paper over the top and I'm going to bend that wire for the lights. I'm just going to glue it to the corner so this way you can't see it. Placed on the craft paper, I'm just going to use those little sticky tabs and place them on the jingle blocks. Now I'm going to place the craft paper over the jingle blocks. So I wanted to attach this to something, so I grabbed this in my stash. It's already been painted black, so I thought it would be cute to place it and glue it to this particular piece. Now this piece I'm holding is, it came off one of the curtain rods, so I'm just going to hot glue it to the top, and then I'm going to hot glue the uh, wood sign to this piece. Place it on this, I'm just going to use some hot glue. It did kind of mess up my frame because when I painted this, it's that slippery material so the paint doesn't stay very well. So I'm going to touch it up afterwards, so no, no worries. Now I'm going to use this Dollar Tree Black Rose and I'm just going to hot glue it to the bottom of this base. This came out so beautiful. I love this little piece, how it came out. Actually, I love everything today. Uh, I really can't pick a favorite. Guys, let me know what your favorite was today. Well, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to take a look at the playlist linked in my description box below. Till next time, guys. I will see you. Bye-bye.